This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump to attend three inaugural balls compared with Obama's 10. By Alicia Pau. As the countdown clock on the White House transition is winding down, the presidential inaugural committee released its schedule of events Wednesday for President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration week. Now less than a month away, Trump's inauguration will be a less extravagant affair than that of his Democratic predecessor. Just two official inaugural balls are being planned to celebrate the evening Trump will be sworn in. Trump will also attend an armed services ball, described as a special tribute to our veterans, those currently serving, military families, first responders, and those who have given the ultimate sacrifice so that we may all live in freedom. President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama went to a whopping 10 balls in 2009. They then held a more intimate after-hours party at the White House that big names like Oprah Winfrey reportedly attended. Trump's inauguration schedule is also a stark contrast from that former of President George W. Bush, who attended eight balls to celebrate his first inauguration. Anticipating the comparisons made between inaugural plans this year and those previously orchestrated, Presidential Inaugural Committee Chairman Tom Barrack issued a statement explaining the rationale behind Trump's more modest plans. The 2017 inaugural celebrations will reflect President-elect Trump's eagerness to get to work in order to make our country safer and stronger, Barrack said. The official inauguration program will begin the morning of January 19 with a wreath-laying ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery. Trump and Vice President-elect Mike Pence will attend. A large concert will then take place at the Lincoln Memorial preceding the inauguration. Obama's 2009 inaugural concert included performances by Beyoncé, Bruce Springsteen, Mary J. Blige, James Taylor, John Legend, Stevie Wonder, Shakira, U2 and other top acts. 16-year-old Jackie Evancho, a runner-up on America's Got Talent is so far the only performer announced to participate in Trump's swearing-in. She will sing the national anthem at the festivities. Trump will also partake in the inaugural tradition of accompanying the outgoing president to the Capitol. President Obama has said he will escort Trump and he will watch him take the oath of office, then the Obamas will leave on Marine One. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.